The more I use AI, the more I realize how important it is to master AI prompting skills, like what Jensen said. The programming language is human. Everybody in the world is now a programmer. So in this video, I'm going to share with you six prompting hacks that people seldom talk about, but they're crazily useful to help you get the most out of all these smart AI models. So probably you have heard about those common prompting best practices, like assigning AI with a role, specify the task, give more context, specify the format, tone, give more examples. And this is not the focus of today's video. Indeed, they're all good practices that you should follow as much as you can. However, all these practices only focusing on increasing productivity, which means you give the command and then AI help you to execute. And the more details you give to AI, the better the response, which is very obvious, right? But it misses out a really powerful capability of AI, that is problem solving. To fully maximize what you can get out of these AI models, it's not just about what it can do for you based on what you have known and what you have instructed, but also what you should do and get something new. You know, the more I use this AI, the more I'm amazed how smart they are. And I realize I shouldn't just use them to execute tasks, but also ask them to be my thinking partner, to propose new ideas that I wouldn't have thought of myself. This mindset shift is really, really key if you want to get the most out of all these smart AI models, and it will completely change how you approach AI in your day-to-day -day tasks. For the techniques that I'm going to show you, I'll be using ChatGPT for demo purposes, but these techniques all works well for any kinds of common AI chatbots like Gemini, Clock, Copilot. The first one is asking open and question. So instead of providing specific instruction to AI, this is a technique that emphasizes asking AI what information they actually need from you before they can solve your problem or complete the task. And this will inspire your thinking and prepare the context so much better before you start asking it to do the actual task. Integrate what's problem or your goal with some context if you have. Ask it what information it needs to solve your problem effectively. Request AI to explain why each piece of information is important so you understand its thought process. For example, let's say I'm a digital marketing manager promoting a marketing campaign for the new herbal medicine products and I need different content ideas. So when this technique is not used, you can see ChatGPT can still give lots of ideas. They're also good like different blog ideas, infographics, ebooks, video ideas. But then if you ask open-end question, you will get lots of elements or details that you wouldn't have thought of yourself like the target audience, the unique selling points of the products, the market trends, specific customer pain points, even your brand values and content goals. And it also gives you reason why you need this. And they're so good and it will inspire your thinking at a whole new level because it will give you another perspective to approach your task. It works particularly well if you're not sure of all the factors that are involved there for the problem or task, and then you will know what are the context info you should give to the AI so you can get an even tailored quality specific response that is really targeted to solve your problem. Another technique is what I call advanced role assigning. The usual way of role assigning that you have probably heard of is assigning AI with a role like to add as the marketing manager, add as a content marketing expert. And there are two more ways you can do it. The first one is assign it to be one of the well-known world leaders. It can be in any field and not necessarily related to the domain areas of the tosses. First, select a well-known world leader in any field and then instruct AI to be that leader and then present the problem and ask how they would approach it. For example, I run a digital marketing agency and I need to brainstorm ideas for a viral social media campaign for the new eco-friendly cleaning product launch and I need suggestions on the strategies. In a usual way, you will get a list of strategies like engaging storytelling, creating UGC content, doing influencer partnerships. But then I keep the exact same prompt, but the only change that I made is to ask it to assume the role of Steve Jobs and how it will approach this task. And then now you can see the response is much more creative, although most of the ideas are quite similar, but you definitely tell there is a difference. Like it suggests starting with the why, building and compelling story, 
creating iconic visual identity for the campaign to get viral, and also emphasize using real story for credibility, creating short films, etc. So I would say this response is more quality and specific. Now I'm not saying to ask AI to replace your strategic thinking. It will never replace your own judgment. But with this technique, you will get lots of great ideas to inspire your thinking. And a pro tip here is also try it on Clark because I found Clark is exceptionally well in doing this kind of perspective thinking. If you want to learn more, also check out my other video. All right, the second way is actually assign a role for yourself and ask it to be your mentor or coach to guide you through the whole process. For example, using the same prompt, now the only change I make is to ask it to treat me as a three months social media intern and guide me the whole process. And now you can see the response is really detailed, like first understanding the product's unique features, defining the KPIs like the numbers of engagement, crafting a compelling message, use of storytelling, and how I should plan the actual launch and promotion. It even includes an example campaign outline to guide me the step-by-step -step launch plan. And that's super cool. A pro tip here is try to be specific about your role in terms of year of experience. Like if you are a total beginner, or in this case, it's an intern with three months experience, or an intermediate specialist with a few years of experience, then its response will be different. So definitely try this out. The next technique is to request it for multiple solutions. And this is a technique to always ask AI to generate multiple approaches to a problem or tasks rather than focusing on one single solution. It works great if you want to explore different possibilities before making a decision, or particularly when you're at the early stage of brainstorming or strategic planning. First, you define the problem you want to solve or task to complete, and then you ask AI to generate at least three to five distinct solution approach, and then request each of them to be unique and approach a problem from a different angle. For example, let's say I run a local bakery shop and need AI to generate some ad copy for my new fruit tart campaign. In the usual way, you will ask it to generate the copy, giving it some context or perhaps format, or in this case, focusing on the fresh ingredients or artisanal approach. The response is also good, right? It gives different key highlights to enhance your ad copy. But if you try to ask it to give you multiple perspectives, then you will get much more different and new angles, like the fresh and local, health conscious, family friendly, season, celebration. And then you can pick anyone that you like and drill more deeper and provide more specific details for it to develop. A bonus tip here is you can even take a step further to ask it to provide some unconventional solutions and propose ways that aren't immediately obvious. I found this is a really good way to force its creative thinking and get lots of great ideas. Again, using the example just now, we can ask it to think of five different unconventional approaches for the ad copy and that aren't immediately obvious. You can see the response is much more creative and refreshing, like the nostalgia angle for childhood memories, social media buzz angle, the craftsmanship angle. And in a minute, you just get a bunch of new ideas from a previous project and not necessarily for content creation. It also applies to high level strategic thinking. So you can have lots of good stuff to keep your mind floating. The next technique is reverse prompting. It's a technique where you provide the desired output and ask AI to generate the prompt that would likely lead to that output. This approach reverses the traditional prompting method and allows you to work backwards from the desired result. And I found it's a powerful way whenever I have a very specific output in my mind, but I'm not sure how to formulate that prompt effectively and wanted to impel the whole process to get that desired output. It will also help you to improve your prompting skills as well. And the best part is you can can build different templates for future use. So first, present your design output, for example, a copy, a well-crafted blog post, and then ask AI to generate a prompt that would likely result in that output and then build a template. For example, I have this blog article about self-improvement from Mark Manson, and I think it has a really good style and structure. So now I can fit it to ChatGPT to analyze it. And instead of asking it to generate a seamless style blog content, I ask it to reverse engineer the process and provide me with the prompt that can create similar quality blog poses. 
So you can see, immediately it gives me the prompt and I think this is a really good start. It mentions how I should include the introductions like challenging common perceptions, using anecdotal evidence, dividing into number sections, use of conversational tone. It even provides an example with the five unconventional habits to boost your productivity, which I think the title is very interesting and good use of the contradicting style from Mark Manson. So this is really cool because then you can base on this template, adjust it and build your own custom GBT or using the project features from cloud. Of course, you can always add more context and then the prompt template will be even better. So you can apply it every time when you need to complete a similar task. The next technique is what I call multi prompts. Unlike the reverse prompting techniques that emphasize generating a very specific outcome, multi prompts is about breaking down a broad broad and complex problem into a series of interconnected prompts. So you won't expect to get all the answers using one single prompt. It is particularly useful if you're working on some complex problem that require a step-by-step -step reasoning. First, you present a problem with some context for why, and then you ask AI basic question or give it direction, guidance with a broad prompt, and then ask multiple follow-up questions with specific prompts until you get the final results. For example, let's say I'm working on some budget allocation for campaign targeting millennials interested in sustainable fashion. So in a usual prompt, you will include every detail, context, and ask ChatGBT directly for suggestions. You can see it will still give you ideas like how many percentage spent on social media, how much on influencer marketing, and also content marketing, email marketing. And finally, it comes up with a more detailed plan. I would say it's not bad, but sometimes it will be a bit generic if you expect to get the answer using a single prompt. Now, if we use the multi prompts approach, instead of asking it to give me the best strategy, we will first ask it what factors should I consider when allocating the budget. Then you will see it give me different factors like audience research, website optimization, social media, content marketing, pay marketing. So now let's ask what are the top channels to consider and then you will see this time ChatGPT will give me more specific responses like Instagram and why it is good for the target audience like it has great reach, email marketing because it's targeted with high ROI and then I will further drill down to ask what are some specific strategies within these channels to help achieving my sales goals. And then this time you can see the response is really specific and quality like doing shoppable poses, doing UGC content to get social proof, building more interactive content like quizzes, doing personalized emails like abandoned cart email. And I would say these are all good ideas. And now I can ask it to base on these consideration and give me the final recommendation. So you can see the response will be more cohesive much more specific and tailored to your problem than without using this technique. Now again, you still need to use your own critical thinking and it doesn't mean you just mindlessly follow what it tells you even if you have used this multi prompts approach. Like in this case, budgeting exercise is definitely a very complicated task and you won't expect AI to help you to handle them automatically. But this technique is super useful in breaking down big problems into small tasks and allow AI to think through the whole process before it finally gives you the answer. So I highly encourage you to ask AI to think about multiple angles related to that task and drill deeper by asking more follow-up questions. Another technique that I really like is to ask AI to do self-reflection and analyze its own response and reflect the potential limitations of its own proposed solution. I found it's a great way to force AI to think more deeply and consider both pros and cons of its output. It can be applied to any types of tasks, no matter it is complicated or simple one. First, you present a problem to AI and get the initial response, and then you ask AI to reflect on its own response and the potential limitations of its output and suggest ways to improve it. For example, I'm planning a YouTube video about how to build self-confidence as an introvert. And then I can ask it to generate 10 catchy video titles ideas for me. You can see immediately I have lots of ideas to start with and I would say they are good start like unlock your inner strength, self-confidence tips for introverts, the introvert's path to confidence. Then what I will do is to ask it to reflect on its own 
phone responds and to identify potential limitations and suggest ways to improve them. And now you can see it critically reviews its own response. Like it says some titles may be too broad or not unique to stand out without adding emotional appeals. Then it revises its output. And I would say it's much better like this one from shine to confidence, the introvert's journey to unstoppable self-beliefs versus the previous version, the introvert's guide to self-beliefs is definitely more catchy and sounds less generic. A bonus tip here is you can also ask AI to challenge and question the underlying assumptions in its response and we find them. So definitely use these techniques more. Always ask AI to reflect on its own response and force it to think and think again and come back with a better response. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and I'm sure you will also find something valuable from my entire playlist of videos about using AI for marketing. Besides AI and digital growth topics, I also share topics related to personal growth. If this sounds like what you want, consider subscribing to my channel. And I will see you next time.